Welcome back to Celebrity Facial Aesthetic Analysis. Today, we are exploring the radiant beauty of Anya Taylor-Joy. Known for her stunning looks and remarkable talent, Anya's attractiveness is partly due to certain key facial features. Her nose width and brow thickness have helped her carve a unique identity in the hearts of millions. In essence, a lower nose width is often perceived as attractive, while thinner brow thickness is associated with femininity. But, even the stars have room for improvement. For Anya, attention to lower lip height and philtrum length to mouth length ratio, could add another dimension to her beauty. Because, the smaller lower lip height is generally not an attractive feature, while a longer philtrum length to mouth length ratio is a masculine feature. Stay with us as we delve into the intriguing world of facial aesthetics, where every feature plays its part in the symphony of overall attractiveness. In our aesthetic journey with Anya Taylor-Joy, we dive into her nose width, which is her most attractive feature. Anya's nose width is 29 IPD units, slightly less than the ideal 35 IPD units. Smaller values are often perceived as more attractive, making this a winning feature for Anya. Research from the Catholic University of Roma found that a narrower nose is often associated with beauty, and found that a nose width of less than a quarter of the facial width, often contributes to the perception of beauty. Interestingly, smaller noses in women are preferred evolutionarily. A youthful face is often characterized by a high ratio of neurocranial to lower facial features with a small nose. At the Erasmus Medical Center, research showed that average nose shapes are often perceived as attractive, but straying too far from the average might lower attractiveness scores. To illustrate, let's compare Anya's ratio with that of other celebrities. Jesse Nelson has a smaller nose width of 28 IPD units. Vanna White aligns with the ideal at 42 IPD units, while Denai Guerrera has a larger width at 49 IPD units. Despite the numbers, Anya Taylor-Joy's unique nose width brings harmony to her features, contributing to her radiant beauty. When discussing beauty, it's important to consider both sides of the coin. Now, let's explore a feature of Anya's that may not be considered conventionally attractive, which is her lower lip height. Anya's lower lip height is 10 IPD units, just below the ideal of 11 IPD units. So, how does this impact her attractiveness? A study revealed fuller lips in relation to facial width are considered attractive. They suggest harmony and aesthetic balance in facial features. Furthermore, a prominent lower lip adds to facial attractiveness. Women with large lips often appear more attractive. Full lips suggest youth and vitality while thinner lips can indicate aging. According to a recent research, the most appealing lip dimensions for women had a surface area about 53.5% larger than their natural size. This larger size took up about 9.6% of the lower third of their face, and had a potentially ideal upper lip to lower lip ratio of 1 to 2. Among celebrities, Kim Zolkiak has a larger lower lip height of 17 IPD units. Ellen Page's lips align with the ideal at 12 IPD units, while Judy Dench has a smaller height at 9 IPD units. Let's zoom in on her brow thickness, measuring at 4.72 IPD units, which is remarkably close to the feminine ideal of 5.62 IPD units. A striking example of a hyper-feminine feature, Anya's brow thickness certainly contributes to her enchanting allure. In contrast, the male ideal sits higher, at 7.75 IPD units, highlighting the role of eyebrows in distinguishing gender. Now, a 2018 study by Mogulski and his team at the University of South Carolina brought attention to several facial features and their influence on perceptions of masculinity and attractiveness. They found that eyebrow thickness is crucial. Larger, more prominent eyebrows are typically linked to a more masculine face shape. Contrastingly, observations by Spiegel in 2011 highlight that while men's eyebrows tend to be heavier and straighter, women's eyebrows, like Anya's, are usually more arched peaking at the lateral limbus, an undeniably feminine trait. But age can introduce a twist, causing women's eyebrows to descend, straighten, and come closer to the eyes, hinting at a subtle masculine touch due to the relative reduction in eye size. Anya, with a naturally feminine face, also has a subtle touch of masculinity that adds an intriguing dimension to her overall appearance. Anya's philtrum length to mouth length ratio is 0.33 IPD units, more than the female ideal of 0.24 IPD units, touching the male ideal of 0.3 IPD units. Studies reveal that males typically have a longer philtrum and a wider mouth compared to females, resulting in a higher philtrum-to-mouth-length ratio, a masculine feature. 
On the other hand, in women, the philtrum length is generally less, leading to a smaller ratio, a quintessential feminine feature. In Anya's case, her ratio leans more towards the masculine side. Yet, it adds a unique element to her beauty. Let's focus on her distinctive face shape. Anya's face is heart-shaped, featuring a broad forehead and cheekbones tapering to a pointy chin. Research suggests that the most attractive face shape for women is the triangle. While oval face shape is also widely admired, heart, round, diamond, rectangle, and square face shapes bring their own allure. Other celebrities, like Anna Sophia Robb, Rachel McAdams, and Barbara Paulvin, also have this captivating heart-shaped face. Which of her facial features do you find most attractive? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you are curious about your own facial aesthetics, visit pinkmirror.com. Which celebrity do you want to analyze next? If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay beautiful.